back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill. Today we're going to be taking a look at a collaboration with Nike and Billie Eilish. So this time around it is the Nike Air Force One Highs in the mushroom colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also be sure to check out that join button for all of our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. As mentioned earlier, we are going to be discussing today Billie Eilish's collaboration with Nike. And this time around, as you've seen previously, she has done on the Jordan 1 KO as well as the Jordan 15s but this time we are seeing her do a collaboration on a brand new silhouette this time around it is the Air Force One in the high silhouette and this is known as the mushroom so we'll start off by doing the overview on these jump into size and fit followed by how I styled this really nice muted simplistic colorway and then we'll talk about how these are currently doing on the resale market so before we get started and jump into the overview I just want to talk about Coachella a little bit because I did actually get to see Billie Eilish perform on Saturday of week one at Coachella and I thought she did an amazing job at her performance so it was really great to see her live for the first time and of course she was wearing sneakers uh, but always great to see Billie when I have the opportunity to so really making this shoe even a bit more special to do a review on. All right, so now let's talk about the overview of this. Again, this is called the mushroom, which I guess if I think of a mushroom, specifically certain mushrooms, this does kind of actually give a perfect mushroom color scheme. So starting with the front of the toe box here, we do have this nice suede texture on the upper. As we work our way up, you'll notice that we do have Billie Eilish's logo here on this nice little chain here in beige, and it's nice and debossed on there very subtle too which i kind of like that they've kept it very simplistic and it's not so loud as we work our way up you'll notice that we do have five velcro straps i honestly in the images didn't know if these had laces i thought it was just going to be a velcro setup but we do have laces underneath the actual straps itself which i will say does kind of make this sneaker a little bit complicated to get in and out of definitely can't take this one out with me on my castings because i have to change into different clothes and this just takes a little bit of extra time to get in that of, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but we do have the muted nice suede texture on those Velcro straps, and then we have some just nice beige laces underneath those straps. As we work our way up to the top of the tongue, which you can honestly barely see, uh, we do have the Nike Air logo, and it says Air Force on the top here, and it is in that kind of light beige colorway. All right, so let's take a look at those details, and then we'll move along to the side panels. Side panels we do have the swoosh mark here it's kind of 
hard to notice actually because it's so well blended into the side paneling of the sneaker but we do have that nice suede texture again in that beige colorway as we work our way to the back we have the nike air embroidered there and a nice muted colorway as well which blends quite nicely with that suede texture underneath again we do have a suede that kind of is hidden underneath those velcro straps uh, but it is there and that suede texture the sneaker is then completed again with this kind of darker shade of beige for the midsole and then we do have the air here and then it's completed with that same color scheme for the outsole all right, so before we move on, I do want to talk about the box. So we do have Billie Eilish's logo on the top of the box with Nike Air here. And uh, it is in that nice kind of mushroom color scheme on top of more of a buttercream kind of colorway. And on the side, it does say it's hard to stop it once it starts. So nice little quote there. All right, now let's take a look at all those details. All right, so now let's talk about size and fit on these. I always recommend going down a size in the Air Force Ones, and I would highly recommend doing that with the highs. This is actually my first time doing an Air Force One high. I've done the lows and I've done the mids, but I've actually never done a high before. And I would say that this runs true to those other, other styles as well, is to run at least half a size down. Uh, so I'm typically a seven and a half in these, and I went to a size seven, which fits me perfectly, just because this silhouette always uh, tends to run a little bit on the larger side. All right, now let's jump into styling. Again, really just easy color scheme to work into your wardrobe. This is a very clean aesthetic as far as the colorway goes. So this really just goes with anything and everything. Uh, for the first look, I really wanted to bring some patterns and colors into the mix with the Southwestern top. And that was kind of in some muted color schemes, which I thought really complemented the sneaker. I decided to wear some buttercream colored pants, which I think also complemented the shoe quite nicely. second look switched up a little bit this time I wanted to make a little bit more dressy so I decided to wear a cream dress with some nice brown stitching and I think that that also paired quite nicely with the sneaker as well And then for the last and a final look, I wore some beige shorts or cream shorts with a nice just brown belt. And then I wore a beige top that was cropped that I feel like really complemented the shoe quite nicely.
All right, so you let me know out of the three looks, what was your favorite or how would you sell these? these are currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $170 and they are currently going between $150 to $220, depending obviously on which size you are. Base sizes are going a little bit higher in comparison to larger sizes, which are a little bit below retail. All right, that's it for this unboxing and review. If you are a Billie Eilish fan, highly recommend going after these because this is one of her dopest collaborations. Uh, other than that, if you're new here today, thank you so much for tuning in. Hit that subscribe if you have not already. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me any comments comments or questions down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. Catch you all in the next episode.